Hi, sexy people. Don't mind the lighting. Don't mind my hair. Usually I don't do videos alone, but this one is going to be alone because it's story time. And I'm gonna be putting three short stories um, in this whole video. The reason why I'm not doing one is because they're pretty short and like I can explain them pretty quick. So I might as well just do three and then combine it into one video so it can like be all, you know, normal. But yeah, the lighting sucks. I'm sweating. It's summer. <laughs> also, my cat's under my table right now. She's being feisty. <gasps> You dirty slut. I mean, I would like angle the camera this way, but I'm so sweaty and gross that I don't even want you guys to like see my face in good quality. So we're just gonna put it back here and my cat's right there and she's probably gonna attack me. So if you hear me scream, I'm sorry. So one of them is my first kiss. Um, the second one is I jumped off a balcony <laughs> and broke my ankles. And the third one is the worst thing I got in trouble for at school. Let's go. Oh, so now you're being nice and sleeping? So I guess we're starting with the worst one. And the worst one is my first kiss story time because it was just awful and horrible and I hated it. Um, I never want to relive this moment ever in my life. Um, so, yeah. So this was two years ago. It was like the ending of grade. Also, I had my first kiss when I was 14. Shut the fuck up. I know that's like late or whatever, but I just never really liked or like felt the need to, you know. Anyway, um, I did have like boyfriends in the past where I like kissed them on the cheek, but like that was it. And so my first kiss experience wasn't even a relationship. <laughs> It was with this, it was a girl, and it was like the most absurd thing that ever happened in my life. So basically, we were doing this pro- I'm not gonna say her, their name, and I hope they're not watching this video. If they're watching this video, I'm going to actually shoot myself in the head. So basically, we were doing like a school project together, and she was like my only friend at the time, because like, I don't know, I was a loner, and no one liked me. And so we were like- behind Walmart and like <laughs> I don't even want to say this but basically we were drinking alcohol and this is when I was just I wasn't like being a rebel but like I was just depressed so I would do I would do certain things to cope with that which not a good way but that's what I did so we were drinking alcohol so I was a little bit you know and I was like do you want me to kiss you and like out of nowhere I was like do you want me to kiss you and she's like mm -hmm. I was like do you want me to kiss you and I kept saying it and not doing it and then she just started kissing me and like it was like <sighs> it was awful it was like my first kiss like it wasn't it was like kiss kiss like and I hated it and after that I was like stop I was like never never talk about this again forget we ever did this it was the worst kiss of my life <laughs> like the worst experience ever so yeah that was my first kiss experience as i said it's really short but after that it was like i just hated it i hated my first kiss like my real kiss it wasn't someone i liked it wasn't like good it didn't feel good like it, nothing was right about it i hated it i would never want to relive it at all so the second story time is when I jumped off a balcony because we were locked out of a hotel and this was in 2021. So I was 13 years old and I had my like bleach blonde hair. If y'all watched me like a long time ago, you would know my bleach blonde hair. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a video actually about it. Like I did a vlog that day and it, there's a vlog about me literally like talking about how I jumped off the balcony. Anyway, basically what happened, we were, it was summertime and we went to this hotel and we were on like the second floor and the second floor I would say was about 12 feet up from the ground and we were just checking in, like we just got into the hotel 
and we were like just checking out their room and stuff and we went on the balcony we realized there was a balcony and someone count how many times i said and in that video because that was outrageous i said that so many times like holy shit i'm annoying so we all went on the balcony with no cell phone no nothing like we were just checking it out and the balcony door shut and we heard like a like a click and like it like automatically locked and so we were like uh, we don't even have a phone or anything to call or whatever and so the the hotel balconies were like kind of like every everyone had a balcony on the second floor so like you could see kind of the the neighbor's balconies and there was like gates with openings so you could like kind of climb through if you were small so anyway my niece she was like eight or seven at the time she used to she was climbing through the the like i'm not gonna explain shit she was climbing through the gates and like knocking on people's doors of course no one answered like why wouldn't why would anyone answer and so i was like i'll just jump off and my sister was like no are you crazy you're not gonna jump off and then like if people were driving in she would like wave them and they were just looking at her like she's crazy anyway my niece kept going the door to door no answer and so i was like you know what i might as well do this my sister wasn't looking i got i like i didn't even like think i just did like a whole tarzan thing and like jumped over it it was literally like jumping over a fence but like i I don't know, I had no shoes on, anything. I didn't even jump over, like hold myself to lean down. I literally just jumped. And I landed half on the concrete and half on the grass. And I just remember both my ankles like going And then I started laughing and crying at the same time. And my family was looking at me like I was freaking crazy. They were like, they were just in disbelief. They were like, did you actually do this? And I was like laughing and crying at the same time because I was in pain. But I was also laughing because I was like thinking of like, what if like old people were just in their hotel, just drinking tea and look out the window and they just saw someone fall. <laughs> I was dying and laughing. And so I was like limping to the front desk to get a new key. And like my toe was cut, everything and my ankle. I never went to the hospital either, but I'm for sure my ankle, something fractured because it still hurts to this day um actually i'll just show you so this ankle it something hurt around here and then this ankle well not ankle but foot it was hurting there and it hurt it for like weeks and even to this day it still hurts when i do certain dances or something like that but yeah that's the story of me jumping off the balcony and we still talk about it to this day and we laugh and my family just I don't believe that I did that. I'm just a crazy person. Not crazy, but like, what else were we supposed to do? There was nothing else we could really do for it, you know? <laughs> like, we really could not do anything else. So, and the last story time is going to be the most trouble I ever got in school or like the worst thing I said to a teacher. And basically why I'm telling this is because, first of all, I've never been like a bad kid in school. I never got into tension ever. I never been in trouble at school, like most of my life. I never been in detention. I never like been suspended except for one time this year. And um, it wasn't even my fault. But anyway, I never got in trouble throughout school. I always been respectful to teachers until high school. Um, my ninth grade, which was last year. Last year, which was last year, I had music class of one semester so um it wasn't like a lot but i had it for one semester of grade nine so it was music class and i love music you guys know i love music i love everything about music but i had a teacher and he he just wasn't wasn't it wasn't a good teacher um maybe i just didn't connect with him right or we didn't share I don't know but anyway most of the class most of the people do not like this teacher some very few weirdos like him but like most of the people do not like him because he's a bitch anyway um i kind of went to his class sometimes in grade nine but i would always get in trouble for like being loud or whatever which yes i guess i am loud and obnoxious but like i do try to hold back sometimes because i anyway that's a little backstory from grade nine this year first semester for my arts credit i had music class and i was like oh fuck like i didn't even 
I didn't pick music class like the system picked up for me it was fucked anyway I was like oh my god like I'm gonna have to see Mr. and so um I went in his class and luckily I was with like some of my best friends so it wasn't that hard but I was like we were talking one time and I was like I was like no he was like uh I know we had like some troubles last year but I think you'll do good this semester and I was like oh yeah and so I like I did appreciate him at first like it's just the way he taught and the way he disrespected me is what kind of like really made me like feel kind of like a shitty person or an idiot because I would raise my hand he wouldn't answer me on purpose he looked me dead in the fucking eye and would not answer me and if I did have a question he would ignore me or like if I said sir 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 ignore but like if someone said sir he answered them and yes you may be thinking you know that's fine like maybe you just didn't hear you he fucking heard me trust me he fucking heard me anyway um if you guys don't know I also have intrusive thoughts and like impulsive impulsives how do you say that word impulsives impulsive impulsive thought impulsive, <laughs> impulsive thoughts and so sometimes i just do random things because my brain's too stimulated so one time i threw a pencil and he was like you know what if you do anything else like that you're going to the office and i was like i'm sorry like i went and picked it up i was like i'm sorry like i i didn't mean to do that like i know it looks like i meant to do that but i really didn't and he just didn't take me seriously and like even when i apologized for certain things if say if i was like talking over him he told me to be quiet and i was like okay i'm sorry like he wouldn't take he'd be like mm -hmm, I, I bet you are sorry it's like bitch what the fuck you mean i'm trying to be nice to you i'm trying to say sorry like take me seriously at least i am saying sorry Anyway, we just had a bunch of fucking beef and shit. And then one day we were doing work and I was like, I don't know how to do this. I can't really remember what I said, but I was like, I don't know how to do this. Like I need help. And he literally, swear to God, swear to God, he said this. He said, Abby, you're being autistic. And I said, I looked at him and I said, what the fuck did you just say to me? And he was like, what and i just i was like did you just call me autistic he said no i said artistic and then my like classmates next to me they were like yeah i heard autistic too and i was like even if he said artistic what kind of context does that mean <laughs> in the fucking i was literally like hey can i get help oh you're being artistic that makes zero sense for anything of what i was saying that's not irrelevant and so that was his excuse and so I just stopped coming to his class and he saw me in the halls one day and he was like why aren't you coming to class and I literally looked him dead in the eye I was like because you're disrespectful I was no I was like you're disrespectful I don't feel comfortable I feel disrespected by you and I feel like you treat me unfairly and you pick favorites like I said all the blank points and reasons why I don't want to come to his class because I feel mistreated I feel ignored I feel disrespected and blah 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 and then he was like, well, you know, you should come join my choir and I think you can do good. And I was like, you're a bitch. And I literally said that and I started walking away. He said, Abby, come here. And I was like, no, you're a bitch. Goodbye. And so I started walking and then I was called to the office. Then my vice principal talked to me and I told her about the whole autistic thing of him calling me that. And she's like, he didn't call you that. And I was like, yep, of course, no one fucking believes me. But you can ask fucking 15 other students that were in the classroom. Like, anyway, that happened and I dropped out of his class and I had an off. But then I got a new art credit, which was dance. But yeah, that's my biggest kind of thing I've been in trouble for in school. Like, other than that, I'm very good in school. I don't like disrespect teachers I try not to but he's just a teacher I cannot stand um maybe it's just because we're different I don't know but everything he's done everything he taught was always like disrespectful to me and I didn't appreciate any of it so yeah that was all the story times in this video um my baby cool she's sweeping so yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Probably didn't. But um yeah. Bye.